Hey everybody, Grant with Renew Auto here. We'll do a quick walk around video of the Mini Cooper S. Uh, point out all the imperfections, dents, things, that kind of thing. Give you a good idea of the condition of the vehicle. Starting with the under the hood, you can see that there's no strange ticks or noises or leaks or anything there. All of the, uh, the factory stickers and then of course the John Cooper Works tuning stickers, everything are intact. There's never been in any kind of accident or anything. See the VIN stamp right there. We've also had this car idling for probably 30 minutes or so while doing photos. And there's no drips, no leaks. Temperature is rock solid. Um, the front end has the normal amount of little, little light rock chipping just from the mileage and age. Um, just normal peppering, nothing dramatic. Uh, looks like the previous owner did a little touch up paint on some of them. Uh, but the headlights are in great shape. No cracks in these fog lights. Any scratches, little scratches steep driveways underneath this front lid, which these lower cars like this. Not seeing any dings on the hood, so that's in good shape. I know all the wheels have a little bit of curb rash. Um, I'm gonna let the buyer decide if you want to get that fixed in house before we put the truck on, or put the car on the truck for delivery. We have somebody that can come out and do curb rash repair as well. So let us know if that's something that bothers you. We get it uh, repaired and then done for Tires have really good tread on them. They're the hand cooks. Looking for any dents here. Looks like the fender's in good shape, as well as the mirror. Uh, let's see, it looks like we do have an OEM Mini Cooper windshield. You got your VIN right there, too, if you want to check that. And there was one light chip that's already been filled right there, but no cracks, no chips, or anything that are going to you know, spread on you. Not seeing any dings here. I do know there's a couple scratches right there on this door and the normal little you know door ding right there from uh, the paint chipping off. But no dents, no dings. Body's in really, really great shape. Of course, all the glass is in good shape. Let us know if you'd like us to do any window tinting on this. Um, again, we can handle all that in-house before the vehicle gets delivered to you. Moving on to the roof. Some dents or dings up there. The rear fender also in really good shape. You can see all these plastics are also um, looking great. Those will start to dry and fade really, really fast if uh, if the vehicle spent a lot of time outside. So moving to the rear, really good tread as well. And the rear tires, um, they are the matching hand cooks front and back. And like I mentioned, every wheel's got a little bit of curb rush, nothing dramatic, but I just like to try to point out every possible little imperfection, just so there's no surprises when the vehicle gets delivered to you. It does have the uh, Mini Cooper little round top there, kind of makes it look like a RC car, which is kind of fun. And then of course those have the John Cooper Works badge. And the exhaust has got the John Cooper Works on it as well. So that exhaust does come with a button that you can either keep it quiet or you press the button and it kind of opens up the valve for some more noise. Rear end, I'm looking, there's one little rock chip. I think that's the only imperfection. Can see across the rear and of course that's not something you'd notice it's really really close when looking but again just trying to point out everything that i can find on the vehicle um not seeing any dents on the rear quarter panel you can see that all of this is clean a little bit of curb rash on that wheel and tread on there oh, also the undercarriage it doesn't have any corrosion, no rust. We, we, we're in a desert climate here in Southern Utah. We're uh, just up the freeway from Las Vegas, so we're high desert. So we don't get any of the you know, snow or salt or anything. Looks like there might be a little rock chip right there. Oh, never mind. It's just a little leaf coming from the ground. This red is a really, really pretty. The uh, sun's starting to go down, so we won't see it in this lighting, but it's got a really fine metallic. And so in direct sunlight, it kind of has this like the red actually kind of pops when the sun hits it, which is really, really pretty. It's like a little scuff there on the mirror. Again, hard to see unless you're really looking for it. And passenger side. We've got one little, nope, a little bug there. But that was a trick, but no dents in there. Curb rash on the passenger front wheel. But nothing else. 
has somewhere which I've seen on just about every single of these Mini Coopers. The, the bolsters are so tall to hold you into you know while you're cornering that they get worn here. Um, there's an upholstery shop in town that I believe they can just replace these two patches if it's something that bothers you. If not, we've discounted the price of the car to accommodate for things like the seat repair if you wanted to make the wheels perfect. Um, we've taken that money or we've taken the cost to get those fixed off the car so you either can buy it at the cheaper price and just drive it and enjoy it how it is or you save some money on the front end so you can get those things done. And let us know if we can help you with that. We can get things arranged with a local upholstery shop to you know, handle stuff like that. If you just want to go through and make the car perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Got the vehicle idling right now. We'll give it a couple of revs. No sun fading or anything on the dashboard. I really do like that trim with the red. It's a really cool compliment. Of course, you got your radio. Let's see if we can get it to a station. Now I'm too old to understand how to find a radio station. Jeez Louise. AC and heat works. We tested both of those. Um, I do like the little start stop um, switch, which is really cool every time you get in a the vehicle. These LED lights, they'll, they'll change as well. So you can kind of set the, uh, the interior LED lighting. And then you've got your center armrest right there with the plaid Mini Cooper pattern. And that folds away if you wanna get it out of the way. Uh, transmission, everything shifts awesome. Obviously no lights, no errors, no, no mechanical issues at all. You can see the carpet's all in great shape. Oh, I'm still trying to do something with the radio. There we go. You can see how this circular section as you turn the volume up, it'll start to go up and then down. Lots of fun little kind of cool features like that on the Mini Cooper. This is how you actually change the uh, sport mode and then back into eco mode if you want to save fuel. Lots and lots of room in the back seats if you fold these down for like cargo and stuff, which is cool. You can put kids back there. You can fit somebody back there to, you know, get them to and from dinner. But if you fold them down, you just got tons and tons of cargo room, which is a cool feature of the Mini Coopers. Uh, rubber floor mats are back here. They are the John Cooper Works rubber floor mats. And then the seats fold down for more cargo room. Moving to the passenger side. Really clean here as well. Both, both the door panels don't have any significant wear from like sunblock or you know, skin oils from resting your arm on the door panel there. All the manuals and all this, everything are back at the shop. We've got a bag full of all the um, accessories that came with the vehicle, so those are all there. You can see how good a shape this passenger seat is and headliner, no sagging or anything there. I do like those little overhead toggle switches as well. A really, really cool car. These are really fun. Obviously, the styling is super classic. They're a hoot to drive. Oh, there's an imperfection. A little bit of the chrome is starting to separate there. Let me look at this other one. No, it looks like that's perfect. But really, really, really fun cars. You know, if you're shopping for these, you already probably know about them top to bottom. But if I missed anything, if you want extra pictures of anything, details, a video of anything in particular, don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach me at grant at renewauto.com and we'll talk to you then. Thanks.